Hello, uh, my name is Ranjit. Um, I have around 20 years of experience in the IT field. I'm basically coming from a civil engineering background and uh, got trained into IT at that point of time around 90, 93, 97 and completely changed my profession into the IT side. Uh, been working with multinational companies uh, like uh, Slumberger Sema, Atos Origin, Converges. Um, there's always uh, uh, you know, there's a zeal to do something more uh, when you have been working with these multi big companies, and uh, there's an always a platform which we would uh, you know crave for to do much more, and uh, that was one of the things uh, which helped us to create Not Solutions. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, got into you know, co-founders like Sumanth, um, who share um, a similar kind of uh, thought process, and um, it worked. Um, we, we started in 2006. Currently, we are celebrating 10 years now. Um, it's been a great journey so far, and we hope uh, the journey would be more interesting and uh, more enjoying for us. Um, ours is a services company, and uh, um, the business aspect and the, the, the culture aspect has to blend uh, um, very well in order to have a successful uh, path. Um, what happens is uh, the, the culture is actually built on the core values and we have the core values like uh, integrity, uh, respect, uh, commitment and value addition. Uh, these core values are more like a foundation where uh, you will have to inculcate into the team um, in, in every aspect of, you know, in, in the working atmosphere. Um, starting from what do you offer to the customer, it's not just the deal which is happening, but we think beyond the deal to think uh, what is the value addition that we give to the customer. And uh, most of the customers comes to us as a, as a repeat customers because of these value additions. There were a lot of times where we said uh, you know, no to certain things and uh, they respect that. And at the same time, the value addition is something uh, which gets more than what we, we offer. And we look into that aspect uh, uh, very closely whenever we make an offer to the customer. And the other things like uh, integrity, commitment, and respect, we, we tend to follow diligently and we make sure that you know, it is cascaded not only just from our thought process, but um, until the organization. So you require a lot of training uh, you know, with people and you know, giving a solid training to them. And you will have to you know, put in right measures in place to ensure that this th these two things are actually balanced. Um, honestly uh, speaking, uh, it, the dynamics are changing very fast. I mean, uh, uh, today you see something new, two days after you see something else new. Uh, what is important is uh, the approach that you need to have uh, to stay in the run. I mean, it's like a marathon. When you're running, when you're running, you need to keep your momentum, you know, keep keep running in such a way that there is always uh, something new which comes in. But what is important is how do you adapt to it and uh, how do you look beyond uh, that particular opportunity. And um, looking at the way the world is going on in terms of digitalization and uh, mobile and, you know, things like this, there is always a scope uh, to do something else. You just have to point the right spot. Uh, to see where you actually fit in and uh, you can also see uh, uh, that is how the, the, the current Indian state where a lot of entrepreneurs are actually coming up and uh, things like uh, tea hubs and uh, you know startups are like compared to last five years or ten years back now things are changing very fast and people look at every small thing as a challenge and every challenge is actually converted into an opportunity so that's how I see there's plenty of potential and there's a lot to tap in. Um, we have uh, started off with our strength uh, that has been uh, into the telecom aspect and uh, being as a, um, as a vision to be a, a good system integrator, as a leader in the space. Um, while we have established uh, for the last 10 years, uh, we look at the aspect of how do we replicate these things to the other domains as well. We did have our uh, footprints into other areas like, you know, logistics, like in Krishnapatnam and, uh, you know, other uh, places, uh, uh, which is uh, SAP and things like that, which will help us to think beyond what we are doing. And uh, system integration is something like uh, it can be, you know, correctly fit into any kind of uh, domain where you have to have a right set of domain experts and uh, the right set of people to do that. We understood that now there is a platform which is created, and we just have to you know look uh, beyond that to replicate the models with a strong uh, uh, pipe or uh, you know the strong uh, 
um, you know, vision to look beyond what is coming in. So we should be able to get into the other areas as well. So we have something like energies and logistics. Those are there in the pipeline. So we would want to go beyond telecom into those sectors as well. Uh, I would say uh, you have to be smart. Uh, hard work, yes, definitely it is there. That is, uh, but how do you, you how you be smart in terms of uh, uh, looking for solutions? I would say, and uh, solution. I mean that you know every problem has a solution, and every requirement can have a solution. Okay, so solution is important. If you wear a hat of always providing solutions, I think uh, that aspect of uh, providing the uh, you know, right set of software or right set of design or right set of code or right set of test will automatically follow. Um, just not don't blindly say that oh, I have uh, testing, I did this course and I want to go there or I did Java and I want to go there. Don't look at it like that. But those are fundamentals which are always required. But we need to focus on how do we provide uh, you know, solution for each and every aspect as, a, as in a daily life then automatically you have to master that otherwise there is no you know value you will be one in a like a like a small drop in the ocean but you have to be very unique for yourself so that's where you have to be keep looking at what are your strengths and then work on that